I love to sing in my music room. We love to dance and whistle too. We love to sing in my music room. We love to play and play and play and play all day. to Sarah's Music Room. I'm so happy that you are here today. Let's sing our hello song. Everyone grab your shakers or clap your hands. Ready? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. How are you today? Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. Now it's time to play. Hello. Hello, hello to you today, yay! Ooh, great job, friends. Today in Sarah's Music Room, we are talking about my friend, Earth. Do you know you have a friend named Earth too? What? It's the planet that we live on. We live on a planet called Earth. Yay! A planet is a big body, like Earth is a ball that goes around the sun. Now, let's look at this ball. This is kind of like what our planet looks like, a big ball. Now, our planet Earth is not purple. It has lots of different colors, but it is a ball and it goes around and around the sun. I love the sun. That is the planet that we live on. Sometimes we call planet Earth our world, right? So let's look at a book. We're not gonna read the whole book, but we'll look at a few pictures. We can see what our planet, my friend and your friend Earth looks like. This is a book called The Planets in Our Solar System. We'll read a couple pages and look at some pictures. We all live on a planet. Our planet is called Earth. It's one of the eight planets that go around the sun. So our planet Earth goes around the sun along with seven other planets. Let's look at the other planets. And if you know the names of them, you can shout them out. Mercury, Venus, here's our planet, take a look. Earth, that's what our planet looks like from far, far away. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Those are the planets that go around the sun. The sun is the center of our solar system. Yes. Let's take a look at the way our planet Earth goes around the sun. So look right here in the middle. There's the sun and all the planets go around the sun in a certain way called an orbit. They have their own orbit. Let's find Earth. See how our Earth is blue and green? Blue is all the water on our planet Earth. And green is all the land on our planet Earth. And it goes around the sun. There's some other planets. There's Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Yes. 
So let's take a look at some of the other planets. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That's why it is the coldest planet. Temperatures on this planet are about 328 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Whoa, that's cold. That's much colder than any place on Earth. Even the South Pole doesn't get that cold. So do you think we could live on Neptune? No, it's too cold, right? Most of the planets are too cold. Let's look at this. these planets. Mercury and Venus are the hottest planets. Look at that hot cat <laughs> under a little umbrella. The temperature on Mercury reaches 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes it's much colder. On Venus, the temperature stays around 860 degrees Fahrenheit. So could we live on Mercury and Venus? No, too hot and sometimes too cold. Plants and animals cannot live on Mercury and Venus. They would burn up. They cannot live on Neptune either. They would freeze. Jupiter and Saturn are also very cold. Of all the planets, Earth is the only one where people live. We think no other planet in our solar system has plants or animals of any kind right now. Earth is the life planet. Our planet Earth is the life planet. We live on planet Earth. Isn't that exciting? And let's look how, look at all those Earths. That's how small Earth is compared to this big planet Jupiter. That's kind of a fun page to look at. <laughs> so that's some beautiful information about our planet Earth. You know what's really wonderful about living here is, remember all those blue parts on Earth that were water and the green parts that were all the land we live on? Water is such an important component of our planet Earth. And weather has a big thing to do with that, our weather. Maybe it's sunny outside, maybe it's snowing in the winter, or there's lots of wind, but you know what's really important is rain. Let's sing our thank you rain song. grow. Yes, rain. The fruits and the vegetables too, you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, rain. Thank you, thank you. I'm thankful for rain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, rain. Thank you, rain. Coming down. and streams. Yes, rain. The rivers and the oceans say you make a great team. Thank you, thank you, thank you, rain. Thank you, thank you, thank you, rain. I'm so thankful for rain. Thank you, rain. planet Earth, it fills up the lakes and the streams and the oceans. It helps flowers grow and vegetables and fruits and plants. We love to drink water. It's so good for our bodies and it's good for animals too. Rain is a wonderful thing on our planet Earth. You know, this reminds me of a song about everybody being good at something. 
maybe you are really good at singing in the rain. Maybe you're really good at planting seeds and flowers or fruits and vegetables to help them grow. Maybe you're good at knowing all the planets that revolve around our sun, like our planet Earth. And of course, everyone is good at something. 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 What are you good at? You're good at singing in the rain and dancing in the rain. what you're good at. Say, I'm good at, you're good at, shout it out. Yeah. Everyone is good at something. Everyone is good at something. Everyone is good at something. Sing it with me. Everyone is good at something. What is this? It's time for our storybook. Our storybook today is My Friend Earth, written by Patricia McLaughlin, illustrated by Francesca Sana. My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. She hears the busy spring sounds, the farmer's hoe tap tapping in the garden, the caw of crows. She sees the little the silent seed, the spider spinning silver, the robin and the wrens. And the large, the long winged albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. and the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. She tends the prairie where sun-dappled wild horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all the creatures in all the oceans. The black manta rays sleek like shadows. The shining parrotfish the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains, 
through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows until she dries the land. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Until she stills the wind, so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the black baby bears are born in soft darkness, drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nests of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching, waiting to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. The end. Our Friend Earth. This book is so wonderful. It's kind of like Earth is a girl, right? And she takes care of the planet. She is the planet Earth. That's how it's depicted in this book. Our planet Earth is so important to take care of because we live here. So we have to always do our part to help take care and be gentle to our planet Earth and all of the things that live here, including our friends and family and strangers and all the plants and animals, right? I had such a great time playing with you and learning about and talking about and singing about our friend Earth today in Sarah's music room. I hope you had fun too. Let's sing our goodbye song. Ready, everyone, grab your shakers or clap your hands. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. We had fun and we played. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye, my friends. Now it's time to say goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye to you today, yay! See you next time.